you want your you want your bullshit running this fast? You want your characters doing this? You want them you want them cutting a jig? I'm here to teach you how to get Blender running as fast as possible in the viewport. Uh, because there is no fucking guide for this anywhere. They expect you to animate with like some dinky fucking 2000 try model as if you're in animation school. Fuck that. You want your shit to look good. I'm going to teach you how to do it. Because if you were running on default settings, this would run like shit. You'd be getting five frames a second. Tip zero is that Blender fucking hates math. It can't do math. It renders on one thread specifically for armature playback, and it kind of spreads out a little bit for things here and there, but it's all about your clock speed with one thread. So, fuck your cloth sim, fuck your soft bodies, I don't give a shit about any physics that you want to render at that time, worry about your goddamn character first, and then simulate it and see if you do or don't like it. I'm not giving you a perfect solution. This is just specifically if you want to see if your boy is waving hello properly. I'm not going to tell you how to make a fancy dress. That's another video. Don't simulate anything beyond an armature because Blender does public school math. It's doing the box format math. Now here's tip number one. Turn off auto smooth. It will fucking eat, eat frames, eat frames. Right now, these models don't have auto smooth on, but if I went into their object data properties, went to their normals and turn on auto smooth for all of these models, as they are by default, buy frames, buy frames. I don't need them. I don't need frames. That's a lie. I love frames. I'm a frame whore. What you're gonna wanna do is turn that shit off. You're gonna find it in this green triangle facing downwards on your sidebar. Go to your normals, drop down, open it, turn off auto smooth. It sucks. I have literally never had a benefit from having auto smooth on with an animated character. It's just garbage. Get rid of it. Turn it off and you'll automatically have a better playback. If this is enough for you, great, bye. Okay, tip one's done. Tip number two, normal maps fucking suck for Eevee. They're not clean. You plug in a normal map, a tangent normal map for a character model, and you move it, it has to calculate the normals for the moving object, and it will shit on your frames. The playback will be garbage. However, there is a solution. There is a node tree that was developed on a GitHub called Normal Map Optimized. The plugin is broken, but I have uploaded a blend file where you can append that node tree and use it as if you had the plugin. How do you append? Maybe you don't know, let me show you. Go to your file, go to append. There'll be a specific save file that I have uploaded called normal map optimized append. Double click on that, go to the node tree, double click normal map optimized append. It is in your blend file. Don't be a shitter, go to your shader editor. It's going to be there. Shut the fuck up. Shader editor, shift A, search normal map. Just click on Normal Map Optimize, you got it. This is your Normal Map node now. Use this, color, normal, plug it in. It'll be 80% the same. It's not gonna look as good. It just won't, but the performance boost is fucking astounding. It's awesome. You will get your normals pretty much all the way there, and it will be better than having to unplug it and replug it whenever you want to render. However, if you don't like how this looks, if you're too much of a perfectionist and you want it to look like, you know, top A normals when you want to render, then what you're going to do when you're done, because you can't do it the other way, is hit Shift S on your normal map optimize, go to vector normal map, and it will swap it out. You can't do it with the node tree as far as I'm concerned. I didn't see a tab for it. Maybe you can. Good for you. But. When you're done and you need to swap out for the traditional normal map, that's how you do it. If your normal maps that you're using for your character are not traditional tangent normal maps and they plug into something like displacement, you're gonna have to bake that down so it can go into a normal map setting. You can use the cycles baking that comes with Blender or you can use a specific plugin of your choosing as long as it goes into a traditional normal map that can be plugged into your tangent normal maps that can go to your normal map optimized. That's what you want to use if you're going to use normal maps. Otherwise, just chop the fucking thing off and plug it back in later. And if you do this, the frame rate gains will be massive and maybe you're done now. Maybe this is the stopping point. Great, 
If it's still shit, I have more tips. Tip number three, keep your try count as low as possible. If you are already at your optimized frame rate and you don't need to change anything, great. Leave the video, I don't care. But if you're not at your frame rate that you wanna be, it's probably because the try count is still too high. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get rid of the eyeball button on your drop down menu. It is useless. It gets rid of none of the calculations except for maybe like, you know, a couple frames here and there, but honestly, it sucks. The much better button to have here is the display. It actually hides shit and it stops calculations from happening. It will save you, especially since you're trying to make proxies that are scanning in for things that are still in your scene. So go to this button here, click on this, Get rid of the eyeball, it doesn't matter. Turn this on, turn this on. This display is for your viewport. This camera is for rendering. Make sure you have both of these on because you want one of them to be in the viewport, you want one of them to render. Once you have both of them on, you're gonna take whatever source model you have, Shift D. Don't move it anywhere. Right click so it doesn't actually go anywhere. It is there, it just hasn't gone anywhere. Now take your proxy, make sure it's named proxy, you're gonna forget you're not smart. Hide the proxy in the render, hide the source in the viewport. Now it's just your proxy showing. You still have the source, you're not gonna fuck with it. Don't cry to me if anything happens because if you did something that breaks the source, it wasn't me. I tell you how to do it right up until this point. Go into edit mode. Highlight the whole thing by hitting A. Go into mesh. Go into cleanup. Decimate geometry. I already have it at 0.1. If it's symmetrical, make it symmetrical decimation. Great, that looks good. All you need to know if he's doing the funky dance. If you feel like you need more tries, go ahead and add another point, 0.2, 0.3, whatever. Honestly, if you can go in and selectively decimate certain parts so that you have like joint articulation, good on you. That's the smart way to do it. The smarter way to be retopology, but if we're just making proxies here, I don't think it matters. I don't, I don't give a shit. So once you've decimated, and I'd say decimate below 50K tries if you can, because I'll give you a guaranteed 60 FPS unless there's some weird texture shit happening, which we'll touch on later. Then move on to your next object, and your next object, and your next object. If all of your objects, all of your armatures in your scene that are being animated at one time are below 100K, you will 90% of the time get a 60 FPS playback. And if you don't need 60, then keeping it below 200,000 will probably get you 23.976. So if you get that number of tries on your scene, and that doesn't include your world, by the way, because if you got like, you know, 2 million tries in the world, but none of that is moving and none of that's being simulated, that's on your GPU. That's not on your CPU. We're worried about your CPU because Blender is bad at math. We're worried about math, not visuals, math the moving of vertices, not visuals. There's a difference. Don't fucking look at me. Look at your Blender file. Once you've decimated, once you've gotten all that done, then your shit should play back better and better and better until eventually it'll play back nice. That's pretty good. Compared to what we had before, that's better. Do the rest of your source models to make them into proxies. And once you're done with this, we'll move into the next tip if you don't have your ideal frame rate. Side note, collections are actually really useful. Don't be stupid. If you wanna have all of your objects be hidden at once and revealed at once, select everything you want, hit M on your keyboard, new collection. Collection, wow. You now have a new collection where it has its own tab where you can hide everything at once, show everything at once. This will be very useful if you have a bunch of objects that you need to manually turn on and off without going through every single one. <laughs> okay, tip number four. Uh, you may still not be at the ideal frame rate that you want. That sucks, that's unfortunate. This might be the time to go into solid view. I'm sorry, but that might be what you have to do. But there is one more thing you can do. There's two more things. There's one like easy thing that you can do that might save your ass. Go into your edit, go into preferences, go into viewport. There is a way to limit all textures to a certain size. The problem could be that your GPU is trying to fetch too many texture files and decompress them. TGAs, JPEGs, TGAs, JPEGs, and TGAs, all of these file types, they have to be decompressed for your GPU to render them. 
and that means everything is read raw. And if you have like 50 raw 4K files, it's just gonna be slow. It's gonna be slow as shit, because it's a fuck ton of data. So there's a way to limit the size of it so that maybe that might give you the edge that you need so that you can run everything back. It will make things look like shit. Chances are they will look like clay boys, but that could be the edge that you need to have it run back fast. But if it's not that, it could be that you have just too many textures to fetch in general. And in that case, you're gonna need to learn how to bake things. I'm not gonna teach you that. Go Google that. I'm just telling you what you gotta do. Oh yeah, and also it could be your EV settings, like aiming inclusion. Reflections are often a big one. Might get, might get something there.